back to my channel. As you can see, I'm here with my best friend, Cassie. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Today, we will be doing a mukbang and answering some questions. On Instagram, we both asked um, everyone to ask us questions since we will be filming this video. Like this video if you do want to see more of these types of videos and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> what we have here are nuggets, cheeseburgers, and we have of course some fries. I've actually never had a cheeseburger from McDonald's. I don't order anything with a beef patty normally in fast food, so it's my first time actually having a cheeseburger from McDonald's. Can you guys believe that? Isn't that insane? <laughs> <laughs> I think the chicken. Okay. Okay, I'm starving, so let's just start eating. I actually had these last night, but it's okay. Should we start answering a question right away? Yeah. Okay. All right, so, so she actually has all the questions on her phone, so we'll be looking here. All right, so first question, how and when did we meet? Okay, so this is really <laughs> funny because... <laughs> I already know where this is going. <laughs> okay. We actually hated each other when we first met. So this yeah. is 10 years ago now? Yeah, 10 years ago. We were little babies. So we actually met in high school, in secondary one, and uh, we hated each other. I met her the first day actually through a mutual friend and really random story. She was super excited about her lunch that day because she had a, a panini, a specific panini that she loved. And I whacked it out of her hands and it went flying on the floor and I guess she hated me ever since. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> and so then I story. think it was in sec, sec three. Well, sec three that we yeah. got started getting closer. Yeah. And then yeah. in sec five is when we really became best friends and Yeah, exactly. And here we are. And here we are. Six years later. <laughs> Alright. Uh next question. What's your favorite memory together? Ooh. Toronto? Toronto, yes. Honestly, all the nights we went out to be honest. I know. Like those we have so nights. many memories, like I, I can't even like explain to you guys how many videos we have of each other that are just crazy. Okay, so little story, one night, I actually remember this is one of my favorite memories ever. I was actually driving that night and we went out clubbing and everyone was a little under the influence. And I had to walk Marie back to my car and she was... She was doing, she just decided to throw herself in the snow and started doing snow angels in the snow. So like we'd do snow angels, we'd walk, and then she'd plop back into the snow and do it again. <laughs> so yeah, that's one, I think that's one of my favorite memories. And Toronto, of course. For me, I think it would have to be Toronto. We went for, I think, four days. Four days, yeah. yeah. And just us two, it was super fun. We got an Airbnb. And, and missed uh, the Niagara Falls bowl by two minutes. Oh my god. To drive eight hours to miss it by two minutes, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's answer like one question each. So one question from your story and then one question from mine. Okay. So the second question that I got was, what is your favorite restaurant in Montreal? Wow, I have way too many. I know, even me, it's hard to McDonald's. answer. I'm yeah, McDonald's. <laughs> um, wow. Honestly, I love Grill and Go. That's like... My favorite. Now that I have to think of I'm not gonna think of any. Um, wow. For me, I really love sushi. Mm. So I think my favorite sushi restaurant would have to be Shodan. And it's downtown, so it's spelled S-H-O-D-A-N. Shodan, that's I think my favorite sushi restaurant. But I love everything. I love Indian food, I love <laughs> Greek food, I love everything, so. She's supposed to take me for Indian food soon because I've never had it, so. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so my favorite uh, Mexican restaurant is actually La Capital. It's, uh, they have tacos, quesadillas, stuff like that. And it's honestly my favorite Mexican place ever. <laughs> yeah, for sure, I love that place too. You guys should, if you're from Montreal and you're watching, it's right in Chinatown, right before Chinatown starts. They have the best tacos. I love that place too. We've been like at least like five times now, even mm. more. I've been a good 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Uh, favorite song. What is your favorite song? Oh my God. Well, my favorite song right now and has been for like the last 
two months is Before You Go by Louis Capaldi. I think I've played it about 6,000 times. And a lot of my favorite songs are obviously Spanish. So. I don't know what my favorite song is. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know. Tie Me Down? You don't have one? Yeah, there's just too many. There's too many. I don't, because I listen to a lot of rap. I listen to a lot of EDM. I listen to Spanish. Yeah. So I can't really choose one. Um, I really like Tie Me Down from Griffin. Right now, I'm really loving Life is Good <laughs> from Drake and Future. So a couple days ago, if you're from Montreal, you probably know that this new pop-up came out called Hide Seek. And it's basically... How would you explain it? It's like a museum? It's basically a pop-up museum. So they have different rooms that are themed with different things. Like they had one room, it was the chrome uh, inflatable balls. And then there was uh, the slinkies and there was the cereal boxes everywhere. So basically there was a room and all the walls were covered in cereal boxes. And then they had a carriage that you sit on. And basically you go there to take pictures. It's very Instagram. It's for Instagram and... Like girl, girls came dressed up like in like schoolgirl outfits, let's just put it that way. There was one section where it was like lockers and all like stuff like that. So we literally saw girls that came dressed to specifically take pictures there. They were in schoolgirl outfits and everything. So it was really cool. I think there's only like three weeks left. So if yeah. you're in Montreal... February 9th. So February yeah. 9th. So if you're in Montreal and haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and check it out. <laughs> realize how long it took me to open this freaking mayonnaise <laughs> okay what's your favorite thing to eat at mcdonald's comment down below you still haven't tried the cheeseburger for the first time you guys she's trying a cheeseburger kind of for the first time that doesn't make sense <laughs> okay, let's do it. okay here it is caught on camera Oh, there's onions in here. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Now it's cold. <laughs> ah. Maybe add more ketchup. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Oh my god, there's ketchup in here too? Yeah. Yeah, this is not my comp. Oh my god, there's mustard in here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's good. But, see, so I wouldn't take ketchup, I wouldn't take pickles, I wouldn't take mustard, I wouldn't take onions. What that's would you put, just cheese? Yeah. Or not even cheese? No, just cheese. Okay, well, but what about the patty? Wow, there's pickle. No, the patty's good. Okay. The patty's actually good. Yeah, I can't believe I've never had this. Wow. Well, <laughs> it's good. Okay. You want another question? Okay, so... Hold on. So, a question that I got, and I actually get this very often in my everyday life, and he was asking me um, if I wear hair extensions, and no, I do not. This is natural. Um, I've always had long hair, even in high school, and I've just kept it up. Actually, after high school, I actually cut it all the way until here. I cut 10 inches, and I donated it to cancer. And then after that, I realized I really loved my long hair, and I really missed it. So ever since, I just kept growing it, and I cut it maybe every eight months or so just to trim it a little, but I don't know. I do want to cut it short again, but... It took me like six years to get this length, and she's just like growing hair like it's nothing. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <clears throat> okay. Do you guys have anything matching? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of things. I just this doesn't come to mind. Our laptop. Oh yeah, our Mac is the exact same. We literally bought it with same a, year, with like a couple hours apart. <laughs> um, yeah, same year, same model, same everything. Uh, we also have. I think we have the same Adidas uh, tights. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Clothes. Uh, same phone. Mhm. Mm that's it our cars are both hondas 
<laughs> yeah, cars are both Hondas. Honda gang. Okay. <laughs> question that I got was, what is your favorite inside joke? Hey, I actually got that question too. <laughs> I did. I swear to God. I go to French school, okay? So when you're listening, you know, hearing, speaking French every single day, it kind of takes over my vocabulary. <clears throat> so sometimes it'll happen where I forget a word in English and I'll say it in French. So we were actually at my cottage one weekend with a bunch of friends. We were blasting music and then all of a sudden we started hearing um, coyotes. So I was saying like, I remember I was saying, oh guys, guys listen, listen, listen. c'est le loup. And I, and I called it le loup, which is... <laughs> Which is a wolf in French. Which is a wolf in French. It wasn't even a wolf. It was a coyote. But anyway, so that was really funny in the moment. So every time she like doesn't know what to say, like she doesn't know that like mixes up the English term for it, I'll just bring that up. And anyways, you know they discontinued the the spicy buffalo sauce. The poutine. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, why? I was like, when you told me, I was so sad. Oh, you actually got a lot. Oh. Your favorite Friends character. That's good for her. I never watch Friends. That is my show. It has been for like what the last like five years. I just keep rewatching it over and over again. My favorite Friends character is definitely Joey. Joey Tribbiani. Joey. If I could have married him like in <laughs> back then I would. But yeah, it's definitely Joey. He's like the funniest. I can relate to him on so many levels, especially when it comes to food. I think I watched one or two episodes of Friends and that's it. Um, I'm not so much into the comedy TV shows. I like more like action. I love Narcos. I love... Um, that's another one. I loved Prison Break. I love Stranger Things. I love... Uh, I don't know. What else did I watch? Would Breaking watch, Bad. Um, um, Casa de No, I never watched that one finally. Oh. I started watching it and well it's on a show there but you guys the don't uh, F with cats mm -hmm. with the story yeah don't F with cats is really good I watched that three times <laughs> she's like I want to go I want to go to the apartment I want to see and I'm like I actually want to go to the apartment it's from it's in Montreal right yeah it's actually by the Dakari every, like all the time it's literally five minutes from where I work yeah it's pretty scary <laughs> Oh my god, who would you wish to get back in contact with? No one. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no one. Um, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. So a question I got was, when was your first kiss? <gasps> oh, baby. <laughs> I was, I think, 16? Mm -hmm. Actually, it was both the same year as. Yeah. It's like five. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I was 16, and it was with my boyfriend at the time, and... My first kiss was, yeah, when I was 16, and I almost had a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Like, I remember he had come get me, and I don't know where we went, and then he was like... Hmm? You don't know where you went? Like, yeah, we went in, like, I think, like, some parking or whatever. Yeah, and then, like, anyways. So, yeah, I didn't want to, and then it just happened, and then... I went home and almost had a panic attack. So yeah, it was a great experience. <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing that happened to you that made you a stronger person? I like that one. I know what to answer. Okay, go, say it. So this one's easy for me. Um, in high school, there was a certain someone that for, throughout all five years actually, how do you even say? Was manipulating me. Was I guess just not nice. Yeah, we'll just keep it. That we'll way. just keep it that way. It was just really not nice. And I guess after sec five, we finally cut ties. I think it was very overdue. And after that, I became a lot stronger. I think is the word. I was able to defend myself better. Yeah. And honestly live my life and not have anyone tell you what to do how to do it and i remember that's actually well after that had happened that's when me and her actually got closer because we were both having like problems with our 
our best each of our best friends at the time and we're like hey you know when when the year is over like we're good we're free remember that yeah. and it's just like and then we then me and her have been best friends ever since so that's what i guess brought us closer together closer together yeah. was we were both dealing with excuse me with our own issues and then we kind of found each other and realized that how do you say it that like we weren't mean to each other no you we know realized I mean? that like there was no no need to no to need be to mean. fight for yeah, no we were the same for stupidities that didn't matter you know yeah. we realized how the same we were how you guys we have like never fought like no. maybe we've got into like two fights and like not even like it's not even a fight if anything like a i think it's like one in like six years yeah, like, like i swear like we're literally the same we have no drama we never no. fight no. and you know we were used to fighting almost every day for me and at least it was literally almost every single day so and we were just we're just after high school we're like hey we're over this and yeah so that's what we've been balling ever since yeah <laughs> Uh, what's one thing that made me stronger? Oh well, that I know. I guess heartbreak. You can say yeah. That that literally completely changed me. Yeah. So I'd say heartbreak. Uh, yeah. And obviously she was there for me, of course. It happened like three years, three almost four years ago. And yeah. So if anything, it made actually well in the process of being stronger, we were obviously there for each other for both our experiences. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next question. Hmm. Where is your favorite place to escape to? Ooh. My room. <laughs> well, I don't know. To escape to? I think for me it would be going to my cottage. Oh, yeah. I don't go often. I wish I could go more often, but it's currently in renovation, so I'm not able to. But as soon as, you know, it's ready and back to normal, I will be going much more often. I love being, you know, in the wilderness, right? Like, I She's love... She's a wilderness kind of gal. I love going for hikes in the woods. I love... We have a trail that Black goes up out. a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> She's, like, happy when the power goes out. She's like, yeah. I feel like I'm in the wilderness. I'm, like, surviving on Survivor, and I'm like... Can I just have my power back? <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. Um, about a month ago, I went to a cottage with some friends. And in, in this area, we were having a lot of like an ice storm or something. So we lost power. But it had been planned that we were going to go away for that weekend. And even if that house had no power, we still went. <laughs> still we were in that house Survivors. for three days with no power. So obviously we had a fireplace, a gas stove. I, got, I don't know. <laughs> if there's no electricity, it's obviously not a yeah. gas stove. <laughs> a gas, gas stove. stove. But, uh, yeah, it was like survival <laughs> stuff. It was super fun. During the day, you know, we went for hikes. We... Anyway, it was super fun, but I love that type of stuff. So I think that my my escape, my favorite place to escape to would have to be going up north, going into the woods, being alone, not being on my phone, not having Wi-Fi. You know, we don't have Wi-Fi over there. Yep. Yeah, honestly, my well, apart from like, let's say like in my room when I like being alone, I like going and honestly anywhere from here. So whether it's up north, whether it's traveling anywhere in the world, that's, what is your favorite quality about your best friend? Ah, oh, <laughs> what is it? I don't even know. For me, it's how caring mm -hmm. you are, mm -hmm. and how she'll literally do anything. Like she's literally one phone call away. She's. It's happened so many times where she's literally the first person that I call, bawling my eyes out when something happens like the amount of times i've literally called her she's literally the first person that i'll call so yeah that, that's for me uh for me it would be well how can i say how i guess how empathetic she is like how you're you're always understanding towards like other people's feelings like how can i say like if i'm feeling some type of way like sometimes I'll, I'll be like okay but i feel really stupid for feeling this so she'll be like no like you feel this way i'm like it's fine you know so i guess how empathetic she is and <clears throat> well kind of like she said 
too for me how like caring like we've literally had so many times where like we weren't feeling okay and like we'll literally show up to each other's house with like mcdonald's you know i remember like, i literally like, brought mcdonald's yeah, yeah. i'm like hey i'm and gonna I get the birthday not- cake timbits mm-hmm. remember the box full of birthday cake timbits yeah so like honestly like yeah how empathetic she is and just caring in general and like we're honestly always there for each other like no matter what and it's like you know those kind of relationships where it's like even if you don't talk for like a week because we're both busy it's not gonna be like hey but what's your problem it's gonna be like listen i was busy oh my god i miss you so much okay what's been going on you know stuff like that so you know you have two different relationships right Uh when it comes to friends so you have the ones that will talk like every day you know it could be like because you're working with them or because you go to school with them and then you have those that you you even if you talk once a week at the end of the day you still know you're there for each other and it doesn't does it matter? You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we have like a mix of both. Some yeah. weeks it's like we're busy and then other weeks it's like we're talking every, every single day. day. Yeah. yeah, it really just so like depends. It's a mix of and both. it just, point is it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, for that. Um, one more? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's pick a juicy one for the last one. So next question. Are you both in relationships? So I am in a relationship. Yeah, I'm their child, <laughs> basically. And I'm not in a relationship. <laughs> She's ready to mingle, guys. No, single, not ready to mingle. <laughs> Put it that way. But yeah, no, I'm not in a relationship. She is. Uh, and yeah, honestly, like I said, I'm like their child, so it's fine. <laughs> So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if you would like to see me do more mukbangs, maybe with other people like my sister, maybe my boyfriend if he agrees. <laughs> like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll just catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Them up. Show it like this. And like this. Good. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's get started. No, don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, we need the napkin.